Welcome back to Garden State Park tonight, the Breeders' Crown two-year-old Philly Trot. Now with harness racing, as within the sport, there have been changes over the years in equipment. Some are common changes that the trainers will do on a daily basis. Maybe changing the shoes, something along those lines. Then there are major changes, such as the one you're seeing behind me with the modified sulky. Some other changes come along not everyone gravitates to, but they're interested in, as Sharon Smith takes a look at one of those. There sometimes appears to be as much competition between trainers over who can find new equipment to help a harness horse as there is over whose horse is the fastest. This three-year-old trotting filly is wearing the latest, a special new bridle developed in Norway and used in this country by trainers Jan Janssen and Håkon Volner. It's adjustable. It allows the driver to decide just where in the race the filly's side vision should be blocked and where her ears should be plugged or unplugged. It depends, according to Jan Janssen, on just where she should be helped to concentrate. Sometimes these fillers, and also works on colts, but they're, they're grabbing on so hard, like especially behind the gate in the first quarter of a mile, so you want to keep them as much calm as you can. And then when you get to settle down, you want to ask them for a little more. You pull the earplugs, and now we have these blinds, two goes up and down on the side. And they were developed in Norway, because in Norway you can have whips. So that's what we call them for the Norwegian whip. Not all horses need the bridle. Some in the Janssen stable go out with a regular open bridle because they like to see everything. But horses with concentration problems can benefit considerably from the adjustable blinders and earplugs. Thanks, Sharon. Argyle Sox, Johnson's horse in tonight's race, though, standing here in the paddock area, is not wearing that Norwegian whip, and she's just wearing the good old plain made in the USA blind bridle. Now, some of the changes over the years, though, the trainers have been slow to take to, haven't they, Stan Bergstein? a bit, uh, including the Mobile starting gate, which revolutionized harness racing. The trainers and the drivers didn't want that. They didn't want the Caliente helmet, the hard helmet, when it first came in. They hated to give up their old satin caps. They didn't want the wheel discs that go on the wheels of the sulkies to protect other horses from stepping through and cutting their legs. And they resist the modified sulky in its first form. So the Scandinavian innovations, which include, in addition to the Norwegian whip, uh, mud masks, which come down over their face during muddy weather, uh, and include the mushroom shoe, which has been adopted. Anytime they can be adopted as readily as these, you know they're good innovations. It's fun to, to go to the races and watch what uh, each trainer puts on his horses. You can pick out some interesting things. There's still plenty more to come tonight on Breeders'